Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark. This is Begarver's Garage. I appreciate you coming back, checking out this channel. Now, first off, if you haven't done so before, go down and hit that subscribe button. Right next to it, there'll be a little bell icon. If you hit that, you get notifications every time I upload a new video. Also, if you like this video, if you like any of the things we've been doing, hit that thumbs up, give us a like, and last but not least, leave some comments. Let us know what you wanna see on this channel, what you wanna see me do to this Supra, or the Audi or whatever else you wanna see on this channel. Uh, throw it out there. Maybe it's something we can accommodate or get going. Uh, what kind of products do you wanna see? What kind of things do you wanna see done to this? You know, what type of reviews, things do you wanna hear talked about? All right, guys, today, we're gonna be doing something else to the Supra. Now, I'm 90% done with the meth kit, meth kit installation, but I'm waiting on a bracket to come, on, come in. I ordered the P-tuned bracket so that I can mount it in that compartment up there in the engine bay. Uh, so as I'm waiting for that to come in, another part came in that I've been waiting on that uh, really is gonna do the same thing. You know, boost weather. Right now, it's cooler. It's in the 40s and 50s in the morning. Gets up into the 50s and 60s during the day. And uh, really gets you to that point where you're producing a good amount of boost and you're out having fun. But the problem with it is, you know, boost season, boost weather comes with the downside of colder weather. So, you know, the concrete, the asphalt is colder. I've got all seasons on. So hooking up, you got all that power, but nowhere to put it. So wouldn't it be good to have boost weather all year long? And so that's what I'm trying to do is figure out ways to, to increase intake and lower those temperatures uh, on the intake side. So that's what today's product is all about. So let's take a look at what we've got. All right guys, so what I've got right here is a three piece big mouth intake. Uh, this is a big mouth snorkel intake from Velocitech. So it mounts behind this grate here. And so it'll be there to suck in air or to, to ram air. Uh, really, it becomes a ram air. It, it rams the air in, ports it through and up into the intake. So it'll sit there and go up into the intake. So it actually mounts into where the air normally comes in for the intake. But instead of it passively getting up there, it's actively going to be pushing air in there, uh, providing cooler temperatures. Now I've seen some of the graphs that they've produced and I know what I run. So I know if ambient temperature is X, I know what I am seeing for intake. And so after I install this, I wanna see, does that change? Does it actually follow the curve that they have shown on their website? And so I'm gonna show you guys the web, the, uh, the install. I'm gonna show you guys the install of this. It's a little bit difficult, so, uh, I've actually got to jack the car up, get the wheels off, get the bumper completely off, and then actually do a little bit of fabrication, cutting out uh, some of the shroud that's in here, because there's a shroud that directs the, the air that comes into the radiator, and so uh, we're actually cutting through that shroud so that we can then route the, the air up and into the intake. So a uh, little bit of a, a an involved process actually getting the the bumper off and you want to make sure that if you're taking the bumper off you have disconnected the battery because if you don't the sensors on the front for the radar and everything else can really get messed up so you want to make sure that you go through that process do it right so we will be moving the Highlander out of the uh, the garage moving this in jacking it up getting the wheels off and getting this thing going so uh, why don't you guys come along let's go okay 10 mil come in here and disconnect the negative side all you need to do. Pop that off. I like to just kind of wrap it up, throw it down in here so we know it isn't going to touch anything. Okay, so I've got the car up on some boards so that I can get the jack underneath it. All right, so you got to have the low pro jack, get it under there, and it, I mean, even this low profile with me up on two by fours barely makes it. And you're looking for that. There's a circle, so you've got the the oil fill area and then just in front of that there's a circle that has a bolt and that recessed circle area with that bolt area you want this center line and then now it's just a matter of really small movements to get it moving you can see that it's starting to jack up as it grow, as it gets higher you can actually go a little bit longer stroke Okay, so there we go, up on jack stands. 
Next, get the wheels off. All right, so now we've got to get this inner liner out. And so we've got all these bolts in here all the way up through that we've got to get out of here. So we'll get these all out and pull this out. And then we've got a couple of other. All right, it was gonna be a little too time consuming with the ratchet, so we got the drill. Okay, there are the two plugs. You can see the wires running up to them. And those are what we've got to get out right now. pull this piece off and that exposes all the bolts up here to hold it on. this template. This template sits in here right down on this shroud and so this is the part where you've actually got to mark and cut the shroud in order to get everything to fit and so I'm going to go in here and use a sharpie mark all of this see it but right here is my template I've got the holes that I need to drill and the spot where uh, I actually have to cut out and here you can see it a little bit better where I have to cut it out and then the bullet holes that need to be drilled Okay, so now that I've got this piece in here, I've got to put this one in. And so, we'll pull it apart. This one goes inside and lines up just like that. So it lines up with this hole that's underneath the bracket for the, uh, for the headlight. And so it will sit just like that. So that ports air. Air will come in here, up through this elbow, in here, and get routed directly into the air intake what we're looking for. So, let's get this thing installed. Now after you get the, the bumper put back on and before you really tighten it down, you want to close the hood and then what you're going to find is that things don't align quite right. And so you've got those two 8 millimeter bolts right under here. So it's going to be a lot of guess and check, but I know that the front has to come out, the rear has to come out, and so I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments. I've got one adjustment I need to make on the other side, so I'll open the hood. Try again. I'm also going to look at this front line up here and looking at that, that looks really good right now. So I'm not going to touch that front line. So those six bolts, the six 10 millimeters up front, I'm going to go ahead and cinch down because those look like the gap is perfect. So we're going to leave those where they are. The outer ones we need to adjust. So let's make some adjustments and see what we come up with.
All right guys, so there you go. That was the install of the Velocitech snorkel. So it's a big mouth snorkel. And so it goes in there. You guys saw me put it in. And so it should, should help with those intake air temps, especially on the warmer days. Drop them down a little bit. Try and get that boost a little bit higher on those warmer days. So relatively easy install. As long as you can get the bumper off, as long as you can get the car up onto jack stands, relatively easy. Nothing that I would say was, was too difficult about it. Uh, I'm a little bit dirty. I've still got to clean up. But after you get it done, you've got to go through and do a little bit of tweaking to get the body lines uh, all good. Looks like I may, may need to bring this one in just slightly right there. I mean, I'm a little bit nitpicky about it, so I will probably adjust that right after I get off of here. Uh, but I'm really excited to see how this thing works. I'll get back with you guys and show you guys uh, my final thoughts on this after I get some time driving it. And tomorrow, hopefully, the bracket should be here and I'll be able to finish up that meth kit. And so we'll really be working with some cooler intake air temps, a little bit better octane rating, and really putting down some power. We'll see. Thanks for joining me, guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.